So on this video, the commercial started at 26.05. And the next commercial is at 29.31. So she monetized that. She, she's talking to Frankie and he says, don't worry about it. I'll get the money from my family to go to New Orleans. It sounds to me like she's making him feel bad about paying for the trip to New Orleans and maybe he just don't want to go because he don't want her charity. So what happened to all the donations? I guess they went to her. Now she's in New Orleans and he refused to go and she gets to her meet and greet. He's not there. He didn't come. She starts talking to Barbie and her fans and Barbie wants her to go outside and talk. And who calls her but Frankie? Frankie's looking for flights now. He's going to try to get out of there. He, she's there till Tuesday, so he's going to try to look for flights now. So Amber gets online and is looking for flights. That's as far as it got before another commercial. Okay, so the last commercial was 2931. Then the next commercial is at 3548 before she monetizes again. Okay, so she's at the meet and greet and her friend or one of her fans found the flight and she has the screenshot of it. He calls while she's at the meet and greet and she's like, everybody wants to talk to you. Barbie wants to talk to you. So Barbie gets on the phone with him and says, I hope the money that I sent helps your family out. But she's making fun of the way that Barbie's talking. So they're saying, let's, you know, let's just get the flight and... Molly says, yeah, well, it's $400. I already got the money for it from the donations. So, so she got the donation money. She's not paying for it out of her own pocket. So this donation money is in her pocket. She has court on Monday and she's leaving on Tuesday. He talks to everybody who's at the meet and greet. And... After that, she just hangs up on him. He, she don't hear back from him until the next morning. And he said he has to tape his hood down and then he's gonna be on his way. So the mom calls her, like in a panic. Marissa, oh my God, he's gonna be driving. He can't drive like that. Please call him. The hood's taped down. Tell him he can't drive like that. Please just do that for me. So she called him. And she just told him, look, don't come. I got arrested and I have court on Monday. She got arrested for stealing a lap dance. She got arrested for stealing a lap dance. Is that even a thing? Can you get arrested for stealing a lap dance? <laughs> then she gets a text from the mom and she said this is the biggest mystery in her life and she'll never forget it to this day and the text said text me these words right now I'm waking up to Frankie Frankie's energy and she has no why no reason why that the mom said that and she still to this day does not know who the text message was sent to or why she wanted her to do that but that's what she says. Okay, so we know she monetized it. I'm not gonna keep doing that every couple minutes. And after the next commercial, she goes back to Frankie saying that he really needed that money. Why did you refund it? Oh, and then she says it's a good thing that he didn't come. Because what if something would have happened? She don't know, know how he drinks or acts when he's drunk. So it's probably a good thing that he didn't show up. And then she said, she asked everyone, what would you do in this situation? How would you react? I did the right thing. Well, I'm going to answer that question, Marissa. Well, what I had done in that situation, one, I wouldn't have put myself in that situation. Two, I would not have made a video on trying to hurt someone who's already been through hell and back. Three, 
This is an unnecessary video that's going to make you a lot of money. And she, you can't comment. You can't even comment or like or dislike her videos. So it's just you have to listen to what she says and you can't even tell her, you know, no, Marissa, I don't agree with you. Um, so then she says things are getting really shady. So she's distancing herself from this family. It's, it's too weird for her. Things are shady. So now she's telling him, uh, he, he, she's saying he thinks that money's owed to her and it's in the PayPal account. Now, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. There should be two separate PayPal accounts, but I guess because it was in his name in the PayPal account, she's telling Frankie, no, that's my money for my business. That's not your money. So I'm keeping that. Um, and Nadia wants to know why she didn't even get a thank you from Frankie. But she did say in the middle of the video that everybody at the meet and greet was on the phone with him and he was thanking everybody and really appreciative on the phone, even though he didn't show up. Maybe because he don't know her. Maybe he, feel, he felt strange being around these people. This man has been through a lot in his life. Not a lot in his life, but a lot. I don't know. I don't know him. I'm not going to assume that I know him. But... Like, she assumes that she knows Shanann. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know, but there is no reason for this video. And it's for her to make money. It's obvious. I mean, every five minutes she has, it's monetized. It's monetized. I've never seen anything, I've never seen a YouTube video monetized every four minutes. Um, she said she had his back even when he she thought he was in the wrong Then another commercial from what she knows that they got paid from the dr. Phil show They made a nice chunk of money and then he comes out and says Molly go lightly is worse than you think um, Someone questioned her these text messages don't sound bad and she said or did they they sound fake these text messages sound fake and she said, no, they're real. They're real text messages. And she said, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm not a scam artist. Um, then she blames Chris Watts basically for all her problems. She's sorry she ever got involved in that family. She's sorry that she ever made them videos. No, she's not. She gained probably five to 10,000 subscribers. She made a lot of money off of them videos. And now she's gonna make a lot off of this video. I think it was done in poor taste. And it's a shame I liked watching her videos um, a few months back when I was watching them. Again, I didn't subscribe, but I can't listen to her go on anymore. Um, I, I, again, I think this family has been through enough and to keep tormenting them no matter what, whether it's true, whether it's not true, there's no reason to put them on blast like that. And she even blasted the mom a little bit there. Like she tried to keep her out of it, but she's still putting her in it. And the tragedy, like she's a victim of the ruse checks. You're not a victim. You decided to make these videos. You wanted to talk to these people. Maybe your intentions were good, but you know, she keeps talking about how she just got off of her vacation and a cruise trip on her cruise and her trip. And she's with this one and that one. And oh, uh, wouldn't we all love to go on a cruise? Wouldn't we all love to be able to take donation money and just take off? I don't know what her story is because I don't know Molly Go Lightly. And I, like I said, I liked her videos. 
I never seen the ones of where she made fun of Shanann. I never seen that. I never heard, I only seen a couple, I never heard out her mouth that she didn't like Shanann or that she didn't like her videos or other people were making fun of her. That is horrible. What has this world come to? A woman who was pregnant was killed with her baby in her belly and her two little girls were killed and stuffed in oil tanks. This is a tragedy. Whether they went on Dr. Phil and got paid or whether they went on to Oprah and got paid, it doesn't matter. The pain that they suffered, they don't deserve any more torment. They're being tormented. Um, the videos that people put up, I'm sure, you know, they hear it every day. This happened, that happened. These are their grandkids. Can you imagine how this affects their mental? Oh my God, it must just crush them to pieces. And I give them all the love and support in the world because for them to even still be walking around is a miracle. They seem very kind and good people. And what happened was very tragic and sad. And I, I feel my opinion, just like she has the right to go on and make that video, I have the right to go on and make a reaction video. And my reaction video is, that was done in poor taste. And you should have just let it be. You said you distanced yourself from the family, that you wanted nothing to do with them anymore. Why couldn't you just leave it at that? And keep that distance. Um, let these people grieve. Leave them in peace. I mean, if you want to do interrogation videos on Chris Watts, that, that's not harming anyone. But if you're going to talk shit on their daughter who has passed away, who was brutally murdered, there's something wrong with that. Um, she's gone. She's dead. They had a horrible, tragic loss. And... I feel sad. That video makes me feel sad that there are people out there. I know she's rich and she has everything she wants and she probably feels entitled to do whatever she wants. But have some empathy. Whatever is going on with Frankie, whatever is going on with the mom and dad, it's their private business. They have to get through this and they have to move on because they still have other people in their lives. And from what I've seen, I don't know them personally. But again, I was very touched by the way they handled the court case and let him finish out his life in prison and not want to commit murder the way that he did. And I think that says a lot. So the only thing I have left to say is I'm sorry, Frankie, that you have to keep going through this. And maybe social media is the place to stay away from. So with that, I'm going to end this video.